It's Mickey and in today's meal prep video I'm going to share with you everything that I do on Sunday afternoon to get me ready for the week ahead. So if you are new here and you like DIY, decor, organizing, cooking, and planning videos, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. So Sundays are my planning days. I plan for the week ahead in my daily planner and in my meal planner. And I have been using and loving this planner from Carriel. I think I shared it with you guys a couple videos back, but I have been using it for probably a good two months now and I really love it. Over that time I had been working on you know, like different layouts and setups and I think I've come up with something that has been really working for me. Now on the right hand page my bulk of my planning is really for the dinners and that's what I have listed here. I have Monday through Sunday everything that I plan on making this week. I have my Walmart pickup order started here and I have my regular grocery store list started on this side. Now since we eat more than just dinner during the day, there are other things that you need to plan for, for breakfast and for lunch. Now I do not plan out every day what you're gonna have for breakfast and lunch, but I do like to have things you know, available in the house for everybody to eat. For breakfast, I always bake something, whether it be like pumpkin bread or like for this week, I'm gonna be making um, some banana muffins and I'm gonna have oatmeal available with fruit. And then for lunches, I always do a soup on Sunday for the following week just to have that option for lunch as well. And this week, I'm also going to be putting together a strawberry pecan salad that is going to be in the fridge for you know everybody during the week. And I do think that it's important to plan your snacks, especially if you're you know, watching calories or things like that. If you have an idea and you plan for something to make, then it kind of helps you not to overeat so you know what's available for you and you can kind of portion it out during your week. Also for snacking, I really like to have in the refrigerator a big tray of either cut up vegetables or fruit. This week here, I'm gonna be doing a tray of fruit, so I have a couple of the things that I wanna be sure to include in that. And then I have a little section down here if I have meals or desserts to send to somebody else. I think this is a really great way to utilize this page and to help me plan out everything that we are going to need food-wise for the week. So I'm gonna leave links down below for my weekly planner and this meal planner so you can check them out online just to see if there was something that might work for you. So we are going to go and get started in the kitchen and get our meals prepped for the week. Today I have a hot fudge brownie crock pot recipe for you. I found this recipe on that website that I have been using so often. It is just so good. It's the crock pot ladies website. They also have a cookbook, I have it over here, that you can find on Amazon and I think I maybe paid $4.95 or something for it and this cookbook is awesome. I am going to link it for you guys again down below. This is the one that I keep reaching for every time I pull my crock pot out because it has such unique and different easy recipes in it but today we are going to be making this one it is crock pot hot fudge brownies and you just need a few ingredients of course you're going to need um, a package of your favorite brownie mix Duncan Hines is my favorite they come out perfectly every time you're supposed to just put this together as you normally would with your eggs and oil and water and then you are going to need a cup of chocolate syrup, I have this is Hershey syrup here. You're going to need a cup of hot water and that's about it. I think you put it all in your crock pot and you cook it for about three hours. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Thank you. 
Next, mix together your cup of hot water and your cup of chocolate syrup. Pour it on top of your brownie mix in the crock pot. Now it's going to seem like it is way too much water, but you're going to cook everything together for about three hours and it really will give it that hot fudgy taste when you serve it up. Cover and cook on high for three hours. You'll know that it is cooked through when the edges pull away from the side of the crock pot and it's still a little bit loose in the middle. I like to serve it in a bowl with vanilla ice cream and a little teaspoon of chunky peanut butter on top. I'm just gonna take a few minutes to put together one of my favorite salad combos. So here I have everything that I'm going to need. I have some hearts of romaine right here. I have some beautiful strawberries, some blueberries, and some chopped pecans. I also have a bag of this sweet and crunchy lettuce that I might um, toss in there too. Now normally I just would use my regular Italian dressing you know that I, I make and I put together for you know every salad we have but today I thought I would try um, this Virginia brand poppy seed dressing. There is a salad at Panera that I always get that you know it's like this combo and it has a little chicken in there and they have a really sweet, almost like a honey poppy seed dressing that they use, and it's really a good combo. So I've never tried this before, but I thought, you know, what the heck, we'll give it a try. So I'm gonna chop everything up and get the salad all put together. salad is so good to have in the refrigerator for lunches throughout your week, especially if you have a little bit of leftover chicken to add on top. I found these great containers on Amazon. They are Rubbermaid party platters, and I'll leave a link to them down below for you. I have two of them. One I use for cut up fruit, the other one I use for veggies. I also use these containers for taco night because they hold you know, all the fixings. They're just really great to have around. They're oval, so they fit into the refrigerator very easily, and I seem to use them every week for something. Today I'm gonna to be making a tray of cut up fruit for snacks for the week and to mix in with our oatmeal for breakfast. Our favorites are always cantaloupe, watermelon, blueberries, strawberries, and pineapple when I can find it. I just wash all the fruit together and give it a really easy chop and nothing fancy. I like the middle compartment of this container because it can hold you know, the more delicate fruit like strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and pineapple. One of the best parts of summer for us is all those roadside market stands where you can find you know, the freshest melons and homegrown strawberries and honey. I just think that everyone is more apt to eat fruits and veggies if they are already washed up and chopped for them. Things that I do every weekend all year long is make soup. It's great to have on hand for lunches throughout the week and I love knowing that I have something really good in the refrigerator if I'm just too tired to make dinner that night and I always have such a great stock of soups in my freezer for quick meals later on in the month. I have a long list of different recipes that I rotate through. Many of them I've made videos on and I will leave links to them down below for you. For this week, I am making a big pot of chicken soup. Now, one of the things that always makes soup easier to make is to use some prepared products like packaged vegetable and chicken broth, better than bouillon paste, and rotisserie chicken. I really love the packaged rotisserie chicken at Costco, and I use it whenever I make my chicken base soups. Now, if you don't have time to chop all of your fresh vegetables, frozen vegetables are a great alternative.
As usual, I like to bake something for breakfast during the week. Today we are going to be making some crumb banana muffins. I found this recipe on allrecipes.com. It's one of the best ones that I have ever tried. I always like anything that has like a crunchy crumb topping on it, and this one is really easy to make. So what you're going to be needing for this recipe is three ripe bananas, a cup and a half of all-purpose flour, baking powder, baking soda, sugar, one egg, and some melted butter. I will be putting the entire recipe in the description box down below. For the crumb topping, you'll need some brown sugar, cinnamon, a couple tablespoons of flour, and butter. Mix it all up until it is nice and crumbly and sprinkle on top of your muffins. Cook in a 375 degree oven for 18 to 20 minutes. So if I have time, I really like to jumpstart my week by prepping my dinner for Monday night. This Monday we're planning on having steaks on the grill and tonight I'm just going to be marinating them. I'm going to use that marinade that I shared with you from my last Walmart grocery haul. This Larson Steak and Chops marinade is really tasty if you're looking for something really quick and it's also a great base if you want to add things to it. So thank you all so much for watching this meal prep video. I hope that it gave you some really good ideas on how you can make getting food on your table a little bit easier. I hope you'll join our community over on Instagram and Facebook at My Bashful Life. And please don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other, stay safe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.